that's what happens, guys. So, and so the, that, and the zombie rule is another observational rule. Um, reversal time. So these are the things that, I mean, it's not, gonna, it's not a law. It doesn't mean that every stock has to squeeze, right? Some stocks can tank. But take a look at this shit like Kirk. Holy shit, I'm still in this shit. <laughs> See, this is why this is why you gotta track your fucking shit, man. I'm gonna I wanna get out because of the webinar. I I'm okay on that stock. So let me show you what I did on show us, bro. We gotta learn from it. Um I'm okay on I just fucking forgot I had the stock, dude. Fuck. And I came in here, I, I didn't finish covering my shit. So I was <laughs> so I mean it's not that bad. So um I'm just gonna cover up. I have, I have positions okay on it. 3 p.m. Um, rule, baby. 3 p.m. rule. Exactly what it's expected to do. Uh, Kirk fucking popped up. 3 p.m., dude. Fucking, yeah. So I'm going to cover the rest of this other shit. I'm going to fucking put myself in timeout. Make sure I don't get fucking... Um, here's a crazy fucking idiotic stock that I fucking stupidly... Today was not a good trading day, guys, for me. I fucking suck. I was riding a high from uh being up for like two weeks <laughs> and you know it was up a lot of money um and so i today so what happens is this guy oh you're up a shit ton well you fucking all up yeah. today what happened no 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 let me show you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Me show you. you better keep those stops man no i don't break those rules um i can never i can never fucking get rid of the max daily loss rule that's what keeps me alive um 100 so hold on, let me get get rid of some of these stocks. Bro, you oh my god, Val, you're always talking about Carlo, but you were kind of bragging yesterday. You're like, hey, look how much I'm up. Yeah, so that's what happens, guys. We you always bragging, being, motherfucker. We always talk about being humble, man. I was humble and I made all this fucking money. And then um, and so what happened is then I got a little arrogant. So I fucking started to fucking feel like I'm fucking good. <laughs> and well, so and, I, market, I, and if, wait, Val, I should preface though, guys, Val will never ever do this publicly. He just does it to his really close friends, like a group of like three or four people. But he was getting a little arrogant yesterday. In chat. Seriously, so I was like, "Fuck, dude." Um, and, and so the market humble you guys. Okay, if you're not, there's a couple times of people in the world, those that've been humbled and those that are about to get humbled. And if you take a look at Twitter, you'll see which ones are fucking being humbled right now. Um, keep to because what happens is this, man. You, you make your money, and you know you, so what happened was like, dude, I, I went on good streak, and I was like, I'm pissed. You know what I'm pissed? I, I, I'm like, I should have made more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> greed, size, bro, greed. If, if I just size up, I would make so much more. Why am I stupid? Why am I a pussy? Right? And so that's what happened today. So today is like, I mean, so my plan is I always water out, guys. I don't like to keep too much in my account. Because I don't want to blow up and, and, and be arrogant. Like, if I see a lot of money in my account, I'm going to trade bigger size. I'm going to deviate from my process. And so today, I'm, I'm like, I was going to wire money out today. And so what happens? Like, man, okay, I'm going to wire this money out. Why don't I try to make the money I was about to wire out? <laughs> so I started sizing up across the fucking board, right? And so, and unfortunately, today is one of those fucking days that the fuckers don't go down. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to show you my PD. I'm going to show you all this shit, okay? Because today was a fucking horrible fuck-up day. And if it's, and if my horrible fuck-up day is this, I'm doing quite well. <laughs> uh, so let me show you another stock I, I need to get the fuck out of. So take, a look, <laughs> take a look at this one. So, I mean, um, I, was, I got out alive, dude. Holy fuck, with a profit, too. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot this of is, This is not It's always fucking... pets, dude. I hate this stock. I hate, yeah, dude. It fucking runs a lot more than you ticker, think it runs, man. Uh, I mean, so, I mean, I always have my max data loss on, guys. I'm always that, right? So, uh, so let me show you, and then we'll go through my, my fucking orders, okay? Fuck, let me see. Well, and guys, remember, max daily loss is specific to each trader. So, while one trader, that might be $200. Bao is obviously more lenient with his max daily loss. I know the number. I don't know if you want to say that publicly, but but it's not astronomical. It's not like, oh, Bao lost 100000 It's not like that. It's actually really, for his level, actually quite small. But it's, yeah, it's pretty it's, small. Dude, I it's actually, it on, yeah. I, I do it on a per ticker. Per ticker, yep. So, what happens is I just always want fucking ticker I get stubborn on. And which wipes out, you know. So what happens is like there's amount of money that once I lose, I it's very difficult for me to recover mentally. Um, it could be whatever it is for you, right? Uh, that's because like you know after a certain point it starts to balloon. You start adding to your losses. You, you do stupid fucking shit. You need, someone, back. you need someone to just slap your fucking face. So so in the beginning you lose a little money because you don't have big size, and then when you lose more, you add more. So it becomes an exponential uh, decay. 
It's not just, it's not just linear anymore. It's like exponential because now you have double the position, triple the position, quadruple the position. And so each time it goes up against you, you know, you fucking lose like exponentially more. So that's how you go from down 5,000 to down 100,000 very, very quickly in the case of BWV. <laughs> well, and, and, and Bow, it's crazy what you said. BWV. Dude, and it's, and it's everybody really does have that number, bro. Like every, like, and it, obviously that's relative to each one might be 200. The other guy might be 200,000, but man, once you hit that number, your mind just starts to decay if you don't cut it off. Like so pull up BWV. Yep. This is the one that got me there. Very stupid. It's got a lot of people today, bro. <laughs> okay. So first thing I'd like to say is to the guys on YouTube, what, thank you. Please, please click like. If you can you just do it now, fucking every time you watch an MIC video, can you just click like? Every time you see my tweet or an MIC tweet, please click like. Every time you see Instagram MIC, please click like. Yeah, we're I, terrible at self promotion like that, guys. But please just help us out. It just helps. I mean, out. dude, we, we're doing this shit for free for you guys. We, you, you know, the least you can do is just click like, man. So that's all we have. We, I see uh, twelve now. Three people click like on. On YouTube, there's 80 people watching on YouTube, but why are there only 15 likes? Um, so I'm gonna wait till it hits 20 before I talk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so 19. I'm so eating my woman. <laughs> Scott Wilson, you the man. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> You're eating ramen right now. <laughs> I'm chilling, eating fucking ramen. What time is it? 3 12. Bro, I'm eating. too sloppy to have ramen at a desk, man. I feel uh, like that's on the keyboard, bro. This is gonna be good. Let me see what I wanna do on this. Hold on, guys. A BWV. This is a fucking stock that got me. <laughs> okay, take a look at this shit. Man, you really cut yourself off, though, bro. That is key. Look at look at if you would have kept. Fighting. I felt I was like so when I stopped out there, I was like, fuck, man, fuck, fuck, I'm an idiot. Go go back down. Go go back down. I stopped out at the top. So what happens is every time you fucking stop out, it's always the top, bro. It's always the top, but the problem is this. The problem is this. The problem is you, you, so you try to get back in and you fucking blow yourself up. It's okay. So what I did was I stopped out, took my fucking loss, moved the level two out of my eyesight. I didn't even look at this BWV all day. And now I'm looking at BWV. I'm like, what the fuck? That was the best stop of fucking the day, bro. <laughs> to go long. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that stop, bro. Yeah, seriously, man. Look at this. Fucking four dollars and fifty cents. Jeez. If fucking hit seven, I would have blown this entire count up. Well, this, this is exactly what you said, Bow. It's like, dude, if you don't cut off right here where you did, you take you take whatever your you know your max daily loss. You take you know four thousand dollars into into a hundred grand, dude. That's that's what this is. You keep fighting up to eight dollars, bro. Now you just turn something into a hundred thousand dollar max daily loss instead of five or four or, yep, three, or whatever, whatever it is, yep. whatever it is yep. right? And so, some sometimes the best trade is your stop out, dude. Seriously. So take a look at that, man. So the way the way these fucking stocks work is they give you a false sense of weakness. So I made money all morning, fucking shorting that shit. Like it's fucking easy. I knew I was getting trouble. You know why? Let's take a look at the, the due diligence of the stock. Okay, we we talk about. Going through the process, and while part of the process is to look up the fucking float, I'm a fucking idiot. Cause take a look at this, okay? I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm a fucking idiot. 8:44 market time. <laughs> look at this. I B B W B. Oh shit! I have already worn the room. This fucking shit is low float. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, this is fucking odd. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I, I, I mean, dude, I, I fucking posted this shit very early. Uh, but then what happens? Like, you know, I, I started with small size. I was like, it's fucking easy. I mean, like, you know, it's fuck, fucking like, you know, before the market even opened, I mean, like, fucking 700 bucks on it, right? I was like, okay, it's fucking easy. You know, I, got this, I, got, I got this shit figured out. And then, you know, fucking motherfucker, it kept on going up and would not go back down. Um, bro, the funny part is like this is where you were saying that, like, and then we get in the day and you're like, ah, oh, fuck my own advice. Like, let's try this. <laughs> oh shit, it happens, bro. It happens, man. I'm so, telling you. So these are the clues that we teach you at MIC, guys. You, I fucking, I should have known better, right? I should have fucking known better. Oh shit. Oh, hold on, man. 
I know about the biggest tell for me on, on uh, BWV today is I hate stocks that are not up that much. Bro, 260, 360, I, I'm just too scared to hit shit like this until a death candle, man. So, and also we, uh, someone posed in the room that today was, let me see, or the expiration. Uh, it's, op, it's the options lock up expiration. So <laughs> what does that mean? Let me take a look, lock up, lock up period. Let me show you what happened here. This is something that's very good to fucking understand. <clears throat> okay, let me uh, let me put together a slide for you. This is this is a secret. Dropping the nuggies today. You guys, you guys are in fucking luck today, dude. You guys are in fucking luck. <laughs> we have some very good guys at MIC. Thank you, a guy named DM. I fucking knew it, dude. <laughs> Let me, I knew it. Oh, you had it. it. You wrote it. You had it, dude. I, I, I put it. all, I, 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 I put all the, the clues together already, guys. I was fucking <laughs> stupid. I was arrogant because I, I was arrogant because I was led to believe that, man, they're tricking me. <laughs> well, and, and, and Val, it, again, it's like, it's like, this is why it's all psych psychological and trading. It's like, bro, you never make these mistakes when you're not on like a hot, hot, hot yep. street. I would avoid this shit. I would just fucking explain. Yeah, it so you much. always do, bro. But it's so, like it's when you make a shit ton this week, then you're like, hey, I could give some back. You know, you get loose, so, loosey. So here, guys, uh, listen to this. No one's gonna explain you this shit on Twitter, okay? Um, I'll tell you what's going on with the stock. So let's take a look at the so BWV, okay? BWV. Yep. This shit is an IPO. Uh, let me take a look at this. Blue water. I mean, I mean, this is the best. This is this is worth the fucking money. Okay, uh, take a look at this, bro. It's the vaccine that killed you. <laughs> Blue water vaccines. Okay, this thing IPO at fucking six dollars, two bucks. Uh, IPO. Okay, IPO at nine dollars. And where the fuck did the stock start today at fucking two dollars, three bucks? So today was the first day of lockup expiration. Let me explain you what that means. It means that whoever is part of this um, IPO, because when you buy, when you're part of a pre-IPO and you buy the IPO, uh, you cannot sell for a certain period of time. I think it's okay. like 90 days or some shit like that. Okay. So, so during the 90 fucking days, take a look at the fucking chart. This is the new flavor of the, the, the year that they're trying to do with these snacks. Okay. One sec, guys. I'll go to the, I'll go to the oh, deal. They IPO yep. and they fucking walked it all the way down. So they shorted the fuck out of this. So the deal <laughs> motherfucking motherfuckers made money. And you're sitting here with a fucking shares of IPO. Like, what the fuck? You're going to be rich. <laughs> but you cannot sell because it's lock up expiration for 90 fucking days. And, you, and you're like, that's cool. I'll sell on fucking 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Fuck, it's three bucks now underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is this is like what the Coinbase insiders did to their stock. Well, uh, you imagine, bro. You imagine you fucking IPO all this shit. I mean, you're fucking. You're already spending your fucking. You're buying Lambos and Bugattis and shit, right? Because <laughs> you're like, what the yeah, fuck? if you were smart, <clears throat> which which the bankers are, because they're oh, yeah. scammers. Okay, this is what they do. They fucking. They know that they have millions of shares. Because they did the underwriting, all this bullshit, right? Yep. And then they opened this shit, 80 bucks. They shorted themselves, bro. They shorted all the way back down. Literally. And then and then what happens? They use the shares, <laughs> like today, to cover everything back. <laughs> that's why you see the squeeze back up. And that's why they're running this shit back up. <laughs> bro, it's like, it's like how genius, many times? Right? Are... Dude, genius. dude, sometimes you can even see, I swear to God, man, over the years, it's like sometimes when I used to like obsess over level two, you could even see them filling their own shorts, dude. Uh, bro, this is a combination of them running us to sell paper for paper yep. um, to save uh, some IPO motherfuckers and to fucking cover. <laughs> guys, They've, been you... covering. They've been covering, man. Take a look at the chart, man. When uh, you start... Guys, you know a stock's bad when you see a death candle intraday, but when you see it on the daily chart, like, dude, this is bad. Well, they, they, they got all sorts of games. doesn't matter what it is, bro, man. They, 
Oh, shit, man. It's crazy, right? So, oh, and, th- and then the problem is, is like every now and then this is where too much bias can really get in your head. Dude, you look at this daily chart and you go, oh, well, this will just go back to zero anytime it pops. But then when there's extreme agenda, man, and you get caught in this, guys, don't underestimate how far the manipulation can go. And then you have days like this. So like what Bao said with all of these agendas and biases going on, man, if you're too over or if you're too horny or over eager for a short because you look at the daily chart and you go, oh, it's an auto short just because it jumped to $4 or $2. Like, guys, just remember, man, that's what also smokes you. You know what I mean? Because if you look at the daily chart, bro, that's as ugly as it gets. Like, seriously, like that, that's fine. Yeah, right. So this is what they do now, man. I don't want to talk about too much because I want to fuck my own fucking uh, <laughs> edge up. <laughs> but uh, the new thing, they're doing these SPACs. These are not clean IPOs from scratch. These are SPACs. They're like reverse merger bullshit. And so... They have the shares and they fucking run this shit fucking down. Look at that shit, man. They open that shit and they just short all the way fucking down. And if you happen to catch this and you're lucky and you see this shit, you can participate because you can locate with success trader a bunch of like, you know, uh, shares located. This is like some sort of uh, fucking liquidation bullshit. But, you know, they, they, it's all IPO stuff. They, they have the fucking shares and they, they can't short it down, in which they did, right? Now they covered all the way back up. So, um, okay, with that in mind, the red flags that we review the red flags once again low float no dilution bro you said it you said low float it. no dilution but one thing i mean i look back i'm like fuck it you know so i ended up losing after i stopped out all this shit and they say which is not bad i mean fuck uh so i like to show my losses so i'm gonna show you this fucking loss this is uh Hey, only dude, five, yeah, only five, right? bro, max loss right there. Save you and you're in this game for a hundred more years, bro. So, so let's talk about if I had no max loss. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I don't even want to think about that. Dude, you'd be down a hundred grand up here. I would, these are the times I lose a hundred thousand dollars, which I've done yeah. in the past on uh, many stocks like this, because you get into the frenzy. Cause every time they make it so that you think that you cover to the top and you go back in and you go back in and, and you, everybody on Twitter, that trade the stock blew up. So. Yeah. And that, well, and that's the other thing, guys, it's right. Like, like, dude, like w- learn from our mistakes, right? Like how many times have we hit max loss and kept going and max? This is why we teach max loss, guys. I mean, we're, we don't teach this just for the sake of it sounding a little cliche. Cliche wins, dude. Max loss, bro. Stop the fuck out when you max loss, man. If you don't, then you just, you adjust it. You do this. Wasn't, wasn't someone on Twitter the other day, Val, basically complaining about MIC or something and max loss. And then we were like, dude, what'd you do? He was like, (laughs) well, I kept adjusting my max loss. We're like, okay, we teach you max loss. We don't teach you to keep adjusting it. You dumb fuck. (laughs) Yeah, they they, they, They got mad because the software allowed them to go back in after they max loss. (laughs) I'm like, you stupid fucker. That's that's that's, that defeats that's the whole purpose of a max loss. Like, he's uh, not so, even. So once again, let me reiterate. I just show you the fact that you fucking have to use max loss. Days like today or the day you blow your tire count up. Because you get all crazy. And it's usually after a big winning streak. So these are all huge lessons. Because you know, what happens when you win and you're on a big winning streak, you use cushion game. Okay, this is a term that I coined. I call it the cushion game. When you start to fucking lose all your profits for the day, usually you're like, dude, I gotta get the fuck out. I'm, I'm not doing well, right? It's like, fuck, that's yourself. But then you're like, well, I made money yesterday, so I'm gonna use yesterday's profits <laughs> to gamble today. So then you revenge trade, and then you lose yesterday's profits. You're like, well, I'm up for, la- up for a week. Then you lose that week cushion. And then you're like, well, I'm up for a fucking month. Oh, I'm up for this year. I'm up for my lifetime. Well, I can take out a mortgage payment. You know what I mean? I can refinance my house. <laughs> and, and that's how the cushion game bankrupts most traders. Okay? The only way, the only fucking way that, that degenerate gamblers, we are all degenerate gamblers. I'm telling you guys, everybody can snap at any fucking moment. All it takes is you can be the best trader from fucking 99 years, 900,000 trades. But when you fucking step into a landmine such as h for the hkd oh my god yeah you fucking you you basically blow up the entire firm uh not only yourself you you blow up uh, fucking america <laughs> if you're pelosi, <laughs> if you're pelosi you're, you know, uh, this is what this is what he's talking about guys hkd <laughs> some dude some dude was complaining how he shorted 10 shares at like 50 and he was like why did my broker stop me out they liquidated me <laughs> like you don't fucking went to 20 you would have blown everything dude thank god they stopped you this is uh, the shit that comes dude this so is the, the only way guys is for you 
to stop the being able to trade. That's why we have max loss auto liquidation because setting a max loss does not help if you hold on to that fucking loser. So well, imagine if I, if I was down $5,000 at $4.50, I'm, like, I'm going to hold this shit because I don't want to get locked down my trade. Um, and so now you're ballooning the 5000 to we say, holy fucking shit, dude, like fucking $100,000 loss, okay? Easily, yeah, easily. So, so that's why the all liquidation is very important. It will take you out. And not only that, guys, there's another option. The option is do not let your fucking ass back in. Once you lose that ticker, I, could, I, I lost, and I cannot trade that ticker again. So I'm forced to trade other tickers. And... I mean, fuck, this is a pretty bad day for me. Thank God. But, you know, so this is <laughs> not bad. I mean, for fucking, you know, I reduced it down to fucking nothingness. So because of the fact that the max loss took me out, I was able to concentrate on other plays and make back some money. And tomorrow I'm going to be clear-headed and, and start my winning streak all over again. You know, and I didn't blow up. Bro, that's not even 2% of what you made this week. You're doing good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not so to make I'm, you I'm, arrogant I, so the whole so you know my streak starts again uh it, so that's why we made videos on this guys there's the faq series on that you can be beware, beware of the cushing game uh and the most dangerous trade you know the most fucking dangerous trade is a bad habit that you make money on because then you'll fucking blow up um also beware of win streaks because it creates uh hubris and arrogance and all that bullshit right um, that's what happened today. Today I was like, "Fuck, dude, I'm I'm gonna make bank. I'm gonna water because I'm gonna water my money out. I was gonna play for the weekend. I I, I seriously did, and I missed the fucking uh, the deadline for the water house. <laughs> I was busy fucking fighting for my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm like, "Fuck, dude." So also at that time, you know, I was like, "Fucking so stupid." I'm like, "What the fuck am I doing? It, uh, this is the money I want to water out just to piss around and have fun, right? And go to a bar and drink or whatever. Instead, I'm gonna lose this shit." And I was on the verge of losing fucking another stock, guys. Yeah, bro. It's and, dude, it's and all like, ear, dude. Take a look at this fucking Bro, ear. and like, here's the thing, man. Like, the one thing I want to say about that, Val, is like, guys, you have to understand how losses compound because it's not that just that you're going back in the stock. What If you don't obey the $5,000 loss, you and the reason why we say 100 up here is because when you try to make it back, you get more aggressive and it's at the wrong time. So it's like, dude, you, you, you're literally putting nitrous oxide on the freaking fire dude so it's not just that you did the max loss bro now you're getting aggressive to make it back like way more and way during the wrong time so dude yeah shit man so oh, here. At, yeah look at look at this man this is my inventory wait that was this was was did this did, 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 did this turn out to be a loss so here look at the fucking shit right i was like fuck 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 um here it turned out to be uh this small loss I was gonna like, say, lost, yeah, I this lost. looks break even. I was gonna yeah, say, let, this let, looks let me cover even. the shit just to show the Pino. I covered it all up. I was gonna say that looks pretty break even. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's pretty much break even. I figured. Um, I lost, I lost four hundred bucks. Which is yeah, crazy. I was gonna say that didn't look like it was a loss, but it didn't look like it was a win. Uh, like that's, but that's this is even. this is so. Take a look at this chart. Take a look at um, this is how I blew up today. I usually don't fucking do this stupid shit, but I was, I was, I was, I thought I could do no wrong. I broke all the fucking rules. Well, let me explain to you why I fucked up this stock. I fucked up this stock because, well, I should have just nibbled in on the, 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 the hive day from pre-market. But whole numbers. Why the fuck did I start so early? Um, because I didn't want to miss the trade. <laughs> you know, it's like just so slow this morning. I wanted to make money so I can wire more money out. Um, the air gets all this shit. So you know yourself, guys. This is part of trading. Um, you know, everybody has a stupid fucking way. When you start thinking that you're better than you are, you know, you, you get arrogant. That's how you, you, you fucking. And one bad trade leads to 10 bad trades. So you have to be very careful of that. Um, so today was not bad. It turned out to be a fucking, like, I'm only down like fucking 1,800 bucks, where the fuck it is, which is like nothing. So, um, so I think, you know, so I recovered well. The reason why is I had a timeout. So, like boxing, right? You get punched in the fucking head, you, you, you're sending eight count. I got a sending eight count. Uh, and I made sure I didn't get knocked out. So um, the heart, the, the max that you lost auto liquidated me out. I cannot go back in the stock because if I cannot go back slot. I, I won't lose more money. And so I recovered on other stocks. Today was a very difficult day, guys. A lot of fucking traps today. A lot of fucking traps. A lot of zombie reclaims. Um, 
a lot of stupid shit that I'm going to fix tomorrow. Yeah, but Bal, if today's a blow up day for what you posted on like the loss, dude, that's nothing compared to what we, you know, maybe we've done years ago, man. It's like you're getting so much better at, I mean, dude, it's like when you train, you know, members all day to take those losses, it's like, dude, we do it ourselves now. It's like, that's right. the key, man. And that's, dude, this is not a bad day, like in right. the scheme of things, right? So even yeah. though it's a really hard day, even though it's a really fucking hard day with BWV and things like ear and stuff, this yeah, is a, man. <clears throat> this is a big market, dude. I agree with you, brother. I'm just covering out all this fucking shit. Um, well, and, and, and like, I didn't think we'd ever have to get to the point, guys, to make this clear, but we'll make it clear because this guy on Twitter was like kind of giving us some shit. Dude, a max daily loss, guys, should be once in the day or once per ticker. If you relieve the max daily loss and go back in your account and add it again, that's not a max daily loss. You keep going back in. We didn't think we'd ever have to explain that, but I, I figured we should at least once now. Yep. Dude, so it's not max daily loss if you keep fucking removing it and then adding it again like come on guys yep so not bad man i've i've, I've covering shit up and so you know i don't like to show peanut on shit but uh to me this is a win <laughs> Dude, <laughs> considering your week this is like this is a hell of a win so if i'm gonna end if i'm gonna end uh my streak by a loss uh i'm pretty sure it's gonna be a max daily loss but then the max daily loss I've put in maybe a day average of fucking losses, you know, so it's okay, a day or two. Um, that's the thing, man. Max day loss should be a realistic number that you can easily recover from so that it doesn't fucking affect your 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 brain. Well, <laughs> and, your well brain. and and, and Bell, that's the other thing that we kind of revolutionized in the sense that guys, the term blow up on Twitter years ago, and some still use it for, th for this connotation, the term blow up meant, meant you're basically homeless. That's not what we mean nowadays. You can blow up in a day and be done for the day because that's max day loss protected you. And let's say you did make 50 grand this week, but you blew up today at five grand. Now you're out. Okay. You're not blowing an account and homeless. That was the old terms. We've, we're trying to make this like repeatable and understandable to a normal person. Dude, you blew up today. Come back tomorrow. It's not you ended your fucking career in one trade. That's a whole different story. You know what I mean? So max daily loss, bro, is like a blow up should honestly just be a sting. It's yeah. Like, like Travers just said, like a sting like that. Look, you got stung that day, man. Come back tomorrow. And I'm telling you, this is, this is revolutionized the way we educate. Cause uh, yep. I do. I mean, I'm telling you, man, I, I, it's very hard to teach someone to short small caps because they will fucking blow up. There will be a time when the fucking shit, Halts up and you're fucked. Well, it's, it's so it's so easy to teach them short bow, but it's hard to teach them to keep it right. Like it's hard right. to, to on so, a long enough timeline to get them so to understand we, how to keep the. So game I figured, we 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 figured it out by this max daily loss auto liquidation. Do not get back in um, on the broker level. That's what that is why the MIC members should never blow up again. Yep, a hundred percent. And when we say blow up, guys, we mean end your end your shit, literally end your shit. Yep. So, because you know yourself, man, mm. it's like stupid, right? We make money pretty much every fucking day, uh, and then you lose it all back in one fucking stupid trade, like BWV. But thank God when I'm looking back, BWV that's a fucking sick sick ass cover. <laughs> I, oh, trust yeah. me, I did not want to cover, guys. Oh, straight up, <laughs> I did, I'll go back. I wanted, I wanted to keep adding. I wanted to fucking keep adding, bro. Bro, you, you think I had a cover? <laughs> bro, you literally stopped right here. Four fifty. I, I stopped that. when I started, uh, dude. I stopped at the beginning, pretty much. Well, I was gonna say the move didn't even happen yet. And here's the thing, Val. I've noticed something about your trading over the years, and like, dude, you and I know this for sure. You almost never lose in the morning. Almost never in the first hour. Almost never. I'll yep, say it a third yep. time. Except Today if something does a massive bullshit like this. Yup, this was a massive bullshit. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I thought it was a bullshit is because a fucking farmer got in. Yep. Pumper, yep. So. Well, and, uh, but, 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 but again, it's the coupling factors. It's not just that farmer got in because farmer gets in a lot of shit where you know how to handle that. It's bro. You fucking said it, dude. I said it, dude. Farmer got in with a low float with no dilutions on filings. Very odd. Bro, you knew it. You fucking knew it. And, and you could go one step further. The thing that always gets me on something like this is this is, dude, this is not up enough. Like there's not overhead in the in the intraday immediate. This is an IPO. This is an IPO. There's log up expiration. <laughs> Something weird is going on. That's why I just said this is odd. Yep. I I I smelled it, but I still fucking jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, dude. That's it's the like, reason I jumped in because I was on a streak 
and I thought that I was better. And I knew, I, I knew it's gonna fuck me, guys. Seriously, uh, Alex did a good job by warning everybody not get back in. I didn't want to post anymore because I knew that if I post, that you guys will fucking get back to trade this shit. So we ignored it. I moved it out of my um, eyesight completely. Now yeah. I moved. It, I'm now I moved it back into my eyesight so that tomorrow I can take a look because tomorrow is going to be day two of this box. So yep, a hundred percent. And if it's got a lot of overhead going into the day, now guys, you just have so much more of an edge, right? So you get your sniper entries like we talked about earlier, outer lines. And if you have a hard stop and a max daily loss set. This is how you'll trade the rest of your life and you'll never end your career. It's as simple as that, man. Now it's just getting better at fine tuning. It's like, even though Bao like followed his max daily loss day, could he have continued and then started shorting up here? A hundred percent. So it is also, while it's simple, it's not necessarily easy, right? So this is the stuff that we always talk about. Yep. Crazy, man. Yeah, nice, man. You traded a shit ton. Of, dude, you made almost all of it back. <laughs> like, uh, I got some bad fuck. Yeah, some stupid ass shit on fucking ears and pets and stupid shit like that, you know. But overall, I, 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 I'm happy the fact that I stopped out, not because I want to, because I was forced to. I'm glad that the system works. I'm glad that uh, success traders stopped me out. Um, so whoever's not a success trader should come back, uh, should switch and join. Another thing is you take a look at my fucking commission. Uh, it was like 415 bucks today, uh, but I use the MIC route. The MIC route pays actually 20% uh, more than my commission. So I think I should make, uh, uh, I should be profitable $80 <laughs> from <laughs> my rebates after I pay commission. So I'm actually, Let's up, go. <laughs> I'm actually up 80 bucks today. I made $80 off of the fucking rebates, guys. I made actually 400 and um, 400, I mean, 500 bucks. And I paid four fifteen and a commission. So, so I'm up eighty bucks. Now. Dude, he, 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 he asked earlier, bro. He goes green after rebates. And I was yep. like, actually, yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you know, it's good. Um, so so we we this is what we do, man. We try the reason is I'm a trader. Alex is a trader. Uh, Tosh, we're all fucking. You know, we're not business guys. Uh, we just happen to be fucking uh, helping people at MIC, but. You know, we, we create things that help the retail day trader. Well, so. and it's like, and it's like, there's levels to this, right? Bow, it's like, dude, think about BWV today. Think about a worst case scenario, bro. It's like, think about, say you shorted, you know, the morning at 16, upwards of 20 on BBBY, you know? And it's like, I was saying earlier in the beginning of this webinar, Bow, I was saying that, look, man, the reason why MIC is so repeatable, you know, you give us 2,500 members, we're going to teach 25 members, 2,500 out of trade is because we're not building positions and kind of hoping and we're not knocking that strategy. If you make money doing it, it's just, that's not repeatable for everybody because not everybody has big accounts. It's very stressful. You can't, the stuff that we teach guys full encompassing with outer lines, good entries, stopping out in time-based trading. Anybody can truly learn that no matter if you have a, you know, a really small account or a really big account, it's just very repeatable. In fact, it's the only repeatable strategy that I ever, that I've ever seen of any community do where every single member truly can benefit. If you, if you guys are, you know, risking 5 million to make a million on BBBY and they won't even admit that they got bailed out right here with a massive random death candle, that's just not repeatable guys. Like, Hey, more power to you. If you do that, then that's your thing. But for the love of God, man, how much stress does that incorporate? We're trying to make the most amount of money, guys, with the absolute least amount of stress. Alex has been saying that his entire career, and and that's our that's our like that's like the lifeblood of MIC, right? A repeatable, stress free, with the most amount of money potential strategy and process. And that, this is why we see the same thing every single week. It's like, guys, like who who's been coming to these webinars and 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 is hearing new stuff? You're not hearing new stuff. You're hearing the same stuff in different examples, so you can instill it in your mind each week. I mean, am I wrong? It's like, now are we literally like creating new shit every week? No, dude. We, uh, we are basically re uh, refining, you know, making the uh, making a repeatable process for you. That's what it says. So many different ways to trade, so many different strategies. Um, and if you are a new trader, man, you don't know which rabbit hole to go through. And I'm yeah. telling you, man, you, you don't know what fucking new cares work, what don't you spend in a lifetime and not be profitable. Yeah, because because I'll just make very clear, like we did earlier, guys, is it's very easy to teach somebody a strategy that makes money. Very, 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 very few people can teach you not only how to make money, but how to keep it over a very long period of time. And then to, to safeguard yourself around days like this, because dude, Val only loses, only loses on days where one, 
either he gets a little bit arrogant because he's made so much money or it blows everyone out of the water. And then when he stops at the max that he lost, then he's good again. But the point is, it's like, we have a strategy that's so repeatable. The one time out of 10 or the 10 times out of a hundred that it doesn't work, this is about protecting yourself so you can come back to the other nine times it works or the other 90 out of a hundred. Like the point is, is if you have a 90% edge, so to speak, that's as best as you're going to get in this industry because there's always going to be that one that defies logic, blows everyone out of the water. And if you protect yourself from it, then you're good. You're not, not going to lose in this career, guys. It's just when you lose, it needs to be very manageable. It has to be very manageable, man. Like today, like what Bout uh, kind of kind of showed. And I'm not going to mention it because, you know, these are his numbers and he's just not one to brag. But Bout had a really fucking sick week. What he lost today, which we actually found out was green after rebates, was it was nothing compared to the week. So that's like a big, you know, kind of kudos to him. But the point is, guys, like, you got to keep your money that you make, man. Anybody can teach you how to make money. How do you keep it? How do you keep it? Um, I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't have, I would degenerate just like you guys. Uh, the reason why I stopped drinking because my body has a max <laughs> loss, <laughs> all the liquidation. It makes me fucking stop drinking. It's called puking. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll drink till I die. Same thing with trading. You know, uh, in trading, you know, thank God we have a broker that that does that, that pukes for us, so we stop drinking. So. Oh, it's like it's like the difference of like puking or getting your stomach pumped. It's like you yeah. want to just. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's my max loss. So you got, we might experience that in the Utah meetup, so you'll see firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> well, bow my, I don't drink anymore, but. <laughs> Oh shit! Look, BBBY Bed Bath Me on RC Ventures LLC files to sell nine point basically five million shares. Damn, dude, but it's not taken. <laughs> What's going on? Is it traffic? <laughs> it's going down though. Oh shit! Slowly, the news didn't go out or what? Um, let me. But the thing is this: when does this happen? Let's take a look at the time that the fire happens. All these motherfuckers are stuck, guys. Be very fucking careful, okay? These guys are stuck. They can be pumping this shit. That is old news. So you have to see when the filings, they, they do this. So let me take a look. Let me see this. Uh, yeah, time, timing is very key on stuff like this, guys. So if the filing came out this morning or yesterday, you know, because uh, these guys are stuck, man. So be careful when they put out fake news and shit like that. Uh, when do they do the... Oh, if someone can tell me who... What time the, that fucking uh, filing came out? That uh, RC Ventures. Oh, this is not this is uh, not Bed Bath and Beyond. This is a fucking uh, fund. The huh? fund. Cohen. Okay. So it's not fucking. Oh, the company. right. Okay. Yep. 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 So that's why I didn't tank. So what? They've registered to sell this to them and shit. <laughs> I mean, uh, I traded two hundred twenty-two million shares today. Uh, but it is going down. I mean, this, yeah, so uh, let's see the traps. But um, Ryan Cohen. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the one example of the 3 p.m. rule is if like a massive hit piece or really bad news comes out. <laughs> and I still wouldn't even up a, open up a short at 3 p.m. still. Yep. Any Just questions, guys? Uh, so you guys learned a lot today, man. You learned about fucking lock of expiration. You learned about... Uh, they're shorting this shit from up. Uh, what else did you learn about? Yeah, that was um, huge. Low, low, guys, low, no dilution. Dude, go back and listen to what Bao said in the lockup expiration days. This is such a cool example, guys, with this new IPO. Seriously, go go rewatch that, man. Like, that's huge. That's huge to know. Look at this stock, dude. Within like, what is this, a month, two months? Bao, within two months, this new IPO goes from 91 to $7, dude. Jeez. That's yep. sick. That's sickening, bro. When you when you know the agendas behind this shit, bro, now you understand. Like, it's ridiculous, bro. Vaccines, blue water vaccines, man. Woo. And 3 p.m. rule, guys, still going up. This is why we don't fuck around with shorts at 3 p.m., dude. Look at this. This could absolutely blow shorts out of the water. It could go after hours. Like, just the edge is tomorrow. BWV and yeah, there. yeah. The edge is tomorrow. Wait for tomorrow to see if if the stars align. That you got overhead. It's you know maybe going red on the day. Like just wait. Like don't get caught up in this. Well, it's you know it's a piece of shit. It should be back down to three dollars before it goes to twenty eight, and you're stuck. And then your broker auto liquidates you. Then you complain and cry. And then it goes to one hundred and twenty. You're like, thank God. <laughs> you know. Yes, sir. Duh. Timing, guys. Entries is everything. Entries is everything. It makes trading very simple. If you have good entries, 
I, I gotta be honest about it. It's like, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm not gonna knock it because if it works for you, but bro, I don't understand how people have the fortitude. Like, you have to numb yourself out, I guess, to like build positions and like to short here. And then if this goes to 30, add your short and then get bailed out once it breaks. I'm like, bro, I don't want a heart attack, man. Seriously. Like yeah, those, 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 those people, I mean, it depends on say those people don't last very long. So take a look at we look at that VWV. You called it dude, 3 p.m. baby. Every single week. 3 30 p.m. is even worse. Oh, yeah, so that's what we said. Dude, it was 680, man. You fucking said some fucking shit. Woke up an algo that's watching us watching the webinar right now. <laughs> oh that's shit, dude. No, BBBY. Oh you bitch. Oh you bitch. <laughs> oh you bitch. <laughs> Alex, I guess it was real. Oh, you shorted shit. Alex. Holy fuck. They're fucking dude. This is the the rare time that did squeeze at three thirty. <laughs> oh shit. Remember what we said, dude. Oh, so hit, fuck. Dude, hit pieces or news like this, man, it changes the three PM rule slightly. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit. It's like out of nowhere, bro. That's the thing, dude. Alex, like, you sick <laughs> fuck. What did you do? What the, what, what the fuck is this? What did say? he say? Alex, you stopped out? Back. Oh, he covered it. Oh, back. dude, oh, good, good, no. good, good, good job. Oh, good. Oh, you're in it now. Oh, I see. He slammed, covered, and then see, that's oh, the point. Concentrate, concentrate. No average is safe. It's coming back, 24 points. <laughs> <That's laughs> oh, fuck, bro. It, it bounced fucking like two, three points in like a minute. So um, this is why I warn new traders, do not touch this stock. I don't give a fuck what it does, to be honest. I'm fucking hitting here chilling, dude. I can ruin my fucking day, my week, my year by stepping on this garbage. Yeah, guys, um, be careful, man. Alex and, knows what he's doing. And especially after hours, there are no hard stuff. You will blow up. <laughs> There's no <laughs> such thing as a mass day loss in after hours in pre market, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, because stops don't work. Hard stops do not work because of the lack of liquidity. Because if you do a market stop, you're fucked. They'll spread that shit out a dollar and fill you and come back down. Yep. Most people are not playing during those times, guys. They're waiting for intraday. I, I don't play those times. I haven't traded pre market or after hours in years, man. I don't trade that. Oh man! Nice, Fuck. nice, Alex. You caught the twenty three seventies. All right, nice, nice. So, but let's review this. Um, just a lesson, hindsight, fucking lesson. Um, you gotta look at the lines. If you draw your lines, guys, if you're fucking short at the resistance, you get lucky sometimes. You know, so. Dude, 27, 28, man, were honestly just normal resistance lines. If this wasn't BBBY, just a normal stock that's running. Yep, take a look at draw your lines across. You will see 2650, 27 bucks all yep. day long. Uh, channel trade that shit, and then you get lucky. That's it. But uh, this is very unexpected, guys. This news is real. Yep. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> news is real. That's the thing, man. There's a lot of people making fake ass news about meme stocks. Uh, someone's been arrested, but you know, man, this. Is, you never fucking know. So. That, that is that is the hard part about about small caps every now and then. Sometimes, guys, if you are like someone who like waits for news and stuff, man, you sometimes really have to like legitimize it. Like, is this even a real headline? You know what I mean? So shit like that can just be like almost what they do on the on the bid and the ask for intimidation with hiding, you know, like faking really big size. Like, man, sometimes you get a news piece and everybody thinks it's real. And dude, it's not fucking real. And then BBY goes to fucking thirty five dollars and you're like stuck short at you know, 27 thinking that the news is real. And they're like, nah, dude, who said that? Like, we didn't say that. You know what I mean? So you have to be careful, man. All um, right. So I, I don't follow this fucking stock. Who's this Ryan Cohen guy? Yeah, CEO, what was the, who the fuck is this guy? Who is Ryan Cohen? Alex, got to reshort I, it. I, I know the Cohen people, but... Uh, Top holder and meme lord. <laughs> we yeah. know the meme lords. Let me see. He is why why uh oh okay here uh okay legendary <laughs> meme stock investor who the fuck is what Bad Bath Me on shares jump at 70 <laughs> <laughs> what, what legendary meme stock? What, what the fuck? I thought I thought you were joking. He's a legend. <laughs> why why is he a legend? What the fuck happened? He's a legend, what? dude. He's a guy I mean why <laughs> meme guys love him. <laughs> <laughs> who is, who is uh, Ryan? 
Canadian yeah. billionaire activist and it became a recent I mean, uh, 10% stake in GameStop in August. Holy shit. Is, is, is he gay? <laughs> he looks pretty. He's a good looking guy, though. Wait, where is he? Oh. <laughs> There's a picture of his dog. That was first question. He sees a little white dog. Is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> I can be you, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I have a little white dog, man. <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> I mean, I don't think so. What what what, what jeans do you have on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in a bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh he's shit. In the bathroom. No skinny jeans. Is that his dad or his sugar daddy? That's the Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real. That's a real guitar holder. <laughs> 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 yeah dude he's the real big old. that's the man behind that is the <laughs> meme god <laughs> oh shit oh no man this is a uh, hey you know i support all all gender whatever bro that is hysterical man oh you know you know what that photo is like now it's like it's like remember the old dudes who actually owned the mega yacht <laughs> oh, shit. yeah i'm yeah, confusing with steve cohen i was like wait is he changing the name steve cohen um he's the top holder uh let me see I, he's like, yeah i guess you guys can read that article i don't know what the fuck um <laughs> the difference between bag holder and ball holder <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, man. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Yeah, I'm all cool, bro. I hang out with Tosh a lot, so I mean, I'm cool with gay guys. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that, was, that was thought I was gay for five years after a girlfriend and girlfriend, but because I wear skinny jeans. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Let me find that uh, the boat picture. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the boat picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> remember who owns the mega yacht <laughs> yeah post that photo <laughs> oh shit yo I look pretty good in this photo <laughs> Alex dude you really let yourself go dude <laughs> oh, I like that blood bath and beyond <laughs> blood bath and beyond the new name that's fucking great, dude. <laughs> what a fun webinar, man. <laughs> That's a new name. I like that. Uh, Addy. Yeah. Fucking funny, man. Dude, there's nothing like something that happens real time to get these webinars <laughs> kicked off, man. So I guess he sold his shit. So I mean, but, um, so I, as the, the, uh, Diving hand motherfucker say, good, we got him out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> to the moon. So, I mean. Guys, reminder, just like Alex knows, man, if you're opening a short last hour, pay attention to the time. You have seven minutes until the close. Remember, guy, you, you got to watch the clock, man, if you're participating in this. <laughs> yeah, who's a fluffy leaf? I don't think you have so much money. <laughs> I want to find out who the sugar daddy is. <laughs> Dude, the whole web, that's like, that's. There's no photos of him with girls. But it's okay. <laughs> that, there, are no, that, there are no photos of you with girls either. <laughs> that, that, was more, that was more concerned about it being gay or how he got his money. I, hey, man, because I want to know if I have a shot. <laughs> I want to know if I have a chance. <laughs> uh, I, I think there's a strong chance that he is. Everyone, if you can find this out, Bow's gonna vend you, Venmo you some money. It's okay. Jeez, that, nice, guy like nice guy. that guy looks like Epstein. Jeez. Oh, okay. I know who the fucker is now. Who is he? He is, yo, he, he's a fucking billionaire. Well, that's what we said. Yeah, Canadian billionaire. We read that. Uh, he sold this chewing company, PetSmart. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's why that explains that's a little why he has a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chewing pets more. Wow, 3.35 billion. Get out of here. 2018 was generating 3.5 billion in revenue. Yeah, cars. yeah. He's driving. He's, he's driving the same fucking car. So he's like a Warren Buffett type. His Florida home and his only real estate, and he's not investing it. What the fuck? He's the largest shareholder in GameStop. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this guy's an idiot. He just got lucky. Holy fuck. <laughs> 
He's either the most genius man alive or the biggest fucking idiot. Yeah. So, I, so that's why doing. that's why he's the meme lord. He is the I, meme. I, I understand now. He's the fucking meme lord. Oh my god, man. Living in the same house since 2013. Currently working on turn the video. He, just, uh, he lives in the same house, but uh, his company rents a fucking um, fucking yacht. <laughs> you know, like a fucking hundred million dollar yacht. Yeah, seriously, bro. I'm pretty sure. He's an active investor. It's fucking GameStop, unbelievable. So he's he's using his billions to fucking run these stocks up. Something that's sus about his right hand on the table. That's funny. Yo, tomorrow's probably first red day for BBY, guys. So, like, dude, the, the number one thing you should be doing tonight, guys, if you have homework, I'm not even bullshitting you, is go to the website. <clears throat> guys, go to the website, go to the videos tab. Straight up, go watch videos tonight on the first red day. So, let me just show you real quick. Guys, you have homework tonight? Yep. First red day. You should be watching. You know what you should do? This is your homework. Go watch these six videos tonight for tomorrow literally yep <clears throat> and once again guys i'm telling you this is not your typical first red day this is a meme sauce it, it can fucking reverse on a dime trap the fuck out of you so be very, be very careful this is not the ideal first red day kind of trade guys be very careful and have your stops on because usually it's a normal stock this is a cult stock it's a meme stock uh, these fucking diving hand guys, they, you know, dude, they, they might, you know, who knows, man? But um, clearly, we got the meme lord associated. So tomorrow, the game plan is hopefully goes back to 26, 27 bucks. I think that's a good area. 26, 27, 28, 29, right there. Uh, study the charts, guys. Um, I'm not gonna. I mean, here, let me show you the chart. <laughs> dude, this is a fun ass webinar. So. Right there, guys. Hopefully, it goes at those levels. Even if it doesn't go red, whatever. Um, I will be looking at those levels. Guys, remember what we said every like for the last couple of weeks. Just this is the million dollar um, advice right here. Is where did Bell want to short before? We already gave you the lines at twenty seven. Now you know. 26, you know. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32. Nice job, Alex. <laughs> Nice. Alex is out as per the close. Like, guys, this is time based trading, man. Alex got in, got out. Now it's going to do an offer at the 16, and he's going to want to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> Dude, this... oh, man. The meme lord says on another tweet, just kidding. I didn't fucking sell shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's $35. I, I, I meant to say I bought 9 million more shares. <laughs> <laughs> Ends it with PS. I'm gay. <laughs> I bought a chunk for my dog. My dog now is the largest shareholder of Bed Bath Beyond. <laughs> yo, yo, this is the real CEO. Of the dog. <laughs> yeah, there's dogs everywhere, man. Fuck. All right, man. I'm gonna wrap this up, guys, because this is this this the closing bell is literally gonna deafen you. So, uh, really quick, guys, we'll go to after hours. This is where the fun continues. Um, today was super fun, man. Now, uh, let's see. Texas man shot in the face by ricochet bullet after firing on an armadillo. <laughs> Jesus. Any any questions? You thought guys? you were having a bad day on BWV. Any any I, questions before we go? Yep. Uh, oh, the meetup. Talk about the meetup. Oh, <laughs> let, okay. Let me close this just so you guys don't get literally deafened. Hold on one sec. All right. Uh, meetup really quick, guys. Let's plug this. Um, this is the last webinar before the meetup. So let me... <clears throat> One sec. <coughs> Dot com slash meetup. Guys, view agenda and details. So myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. It's coming up, man. It's it literally we're flying about when our flight's Friday, right? It, Friday. Like, coming uh, in. This, this is an event you guys should not miss, guys. It's free. <clears throat> Open to everybody. You don't have to be an MIT member. Yep. So we'll see all you guys in uh, Utah. Yeah. So if you guys, I know a lot of you asked on this webinar, like, Hey, can I bring my wife? Can I bring my dog? Can I bring my, you know, uh, yeah, bring people. You're like, guys, this is, this is open to all. Um, obviously getting a room is, you know, a different story. Like, I don't know if you're bringing a bunch of people, you still have to, you know, have hotel accommodations, but, um, bring, bring, this is open to all, man. Even yep. the trolls who don't like us come, we'll try to uh, convince you that you could like us. Yep. Bring your wife, bring a wife for me. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I'm just going to warn all of you guys. I, I know a couple of people, dude, a couple of people asked it, like, can I bring my wife? I said at the beginning as well, I said, yeah, just fair warning. That was Mr. Studio Girl after a little bit of heading. I was just saying, dude, some champagne yeah. showers might be coming. Yeah, after short FUBU. I don't know what the fuck FUBU is. <laughs> no, I thought I didn't. Bro, yeah. if I ever get married, I don't know what food would never happen. You are not invited to the wedding. Fubu. Alex is invited to the wedding, but not you, Val. Fubo. I think I fucked up Fubo this morning. I did short it and I fucked up Fubo this morning. I want to see the ugly. Today was not a fucking good day. Um, I fucking <laughs> stupid. Here, sometimes you know, sometimes this is your day. This is the type of day I'm having, and you know, uh, to lose as little as I did. This is tough today, I'm having. <laughs> Look at that shit, man. Uh, you know, I that was when you know I fucking stopped out all of that shit. So I was like, "Fuck, man, I'm gonna," you know, I don't want to get. So what happens when you fucking do stupid shit, guys, and and you get stopped out? You know, um, you get scared. So I'm like, "Fuck, man, I don't want this shit to fucking pull another one on me, and then I get stopped out, you know, with a big loss again." So uh, sometimes you just gotta like, you know. Uh, sometimes you have to break in even and, and just resetting and saving mental capital for tomorrow is the best option. You do not need to make your money back in one day. You, you don't need to make a million dollars in one day either. You know, you know this is a, a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah, it's it, guys, if you want to do this for the next 20, 30, 40 years, don't you realize that it's just all about showing up and consistency every single day? Everybody like just because you get FOMO on something that's running doesn't even mean you have to trade it. If you don't feel comfortable trading it, guys, there's going to be setups for the rest of your life. Stock market's not going anywhere. Everybody's everybody's racing to make all this money. Like the stock market's going somewhere. It ain't going anywhere. <clears throat> so I don't know so what are you joking about. Uh, well, I, I don't ever joke about presents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, presents? I thought he meant parents. I was like, oh, yeah, dude, if you want to make Val happy, just bring him some Vsop. <laughs> uh, beef jerky, food. Actually, I might not eat it. You know, it'd be a fucking troll poison. <laughs> but, uh, but no, dude, you know, come hang out. Seal, I, he'll only accept sealed labels only. <laughs> yeah, dude, a freaking troll gives you like a foe and then he stuck a needle in there with some freaking poison. <laughs> Nice job, Oliver. Nice fucking job. Guys, even the curator of our meetups kills it. I'm telling you, man, everybody can learn this process, bro. Great yeah, fucking Oliver. job. Guys, we'll see you. We'll see you next, or we'll see you this weekend, actually. Literally see you this weekend, and then we'll see you in after hours, and then we'll do another webinar next week. And for anybody who's not a member, guys, we're doing something new. Check this out. Rob S. is putting commentary together. So you could, if you are a member, text me. You'll get these. So, dude, look at this commentary all day of like what Alex was talking about about certain setups. Um, dude, this is the type of mentoring you get at MIC, man. So, if you're if you're on the fence, if you're sleeping on the job, dude, I don't know what you're waiting for, but come join MIC, man. It's a good time. All right, all right we'll, we'll see you guys in Utah. See you guys. See you, Bell.